Well, good morning. This is Mr. Schofield and I'm here at home. And as a matter of fact, I'm very fortunate today. This school from home allows me to be at home and do a little work today. And our youngest child, who's a sophomore in high school, is actually being my uh, camera person today. <laughs> and what I thought I would do is show some of you that might have any interest a little bit about where your honey comes from. I don't know how many of you like eating honey. I sure like eating honey. And sometimes we think it just comes from Kroger or from Engels or from Publix. But uh, I guess most of you, if we talked about it, would know that it comes from bees. By the way, there's not a forest fire going on here, so, so don't panic. It's, uh, it's the smoke is supposed to be here. And I'm going to show you today, and, and if you would turn around, Hannah, and show them that. What you're seeing there is a full-blown beehive. That's an active beehive, and the whole thing together is called a hive. These individual boxes that have the frames where the bees lay their eggs and put their honey are called the supers and inside are the frames. I'm gonna show you some of that today. But what I really wanted to show you is I'm getting a new hive of bees today and putting them into their new home. And I'm gonna show you that whole process. It'll only take a few minutes, uh, but it's very interesting. First of all, this is called a bee smoker. And what I have inside this bee smoker is just a little bit of newspaper, a little bit of pine straw, and just a little bit of baling twine. And by starting that on fire, it doesn't really create a fire. It just kind of smolders in there and I can have smoke come out. Now you might be asking, what in the world do you need smoke for? Smoke tends to make bees very calm. And so since I'm not real crazy about getting stung, I always like to try to make the bees calm before I put them into their hive or before I get out some honey. So let me show you what we're gonna do today. This is a hive that's ready to go. As you can see, I told you there are old bee frames in there. That's actually bees wax that you see that they will put the eggs, that they'll also put the honey inside, that they'll store their food inside of. And in one of these supers, as I told you, there'll be 10 frames. Now this one only has five in it, and it only has five because I went up to Habersham County this morning and I got a new hive of bees from a man named Jay Parsons who really knows a lot about honey and a lot about bees and they're inside this box. So what I'm gonna do is take the bees and their queen and I'm gonna move them into this hive and this will be their brand new home and they'll be here at our house and they'll go around and they'll just have to make us a bunch of honey so we can eat it all winter long. So you might be sitting there thinking, man, he's about to get stung. And I would if I didn't first do what you call suiting up. And so here's what I'm gonna do. Over here, I'm gonna put on a protective coat that actually has a screen over my head. And this is, this is my bee suit. And I'll put this on and it's just like a regular jacket to start with. I'll zip up my jacket. And then here's the part that's a little different. I bet you guys don't have a coat like this. This is my bee mask that comes over the front. So my daughter sitting here says I look better with this on than without it, but I don't think that's very funny. And then it actually zips down. And what this does is keeps the bees from coming up and stinging me in the head or in the face. And you can see my hands are still uncovered. So I'm gonna put on some thick leather gloves by the way, the bees may sting my jeans, but it actually won't go through my jeans. I won't feel that. Uh, and they might sting my feet. One of the things you don't want is like a bee going down your glove and getting in there. I've had that happen before. And then I do a real interesting dance when something like that happens as I get all of these clothes off. But let's get started on this. First thing we're gonna do is when I brought them home this morning in the truck, he's taped them up real good so that what I don't have is a bunch of bees flying around in my truck. And so the first thing I need to do is cut this tape. And it's just simple duct tape that he used, which sealed these bees into this little temporary hive. By the way, if I can get Hannah to show you, on both ends there's a screen so that they can get air and you can actually see all the bees in there working and saying, hey, what are you doing to us? What's all this going on right now? Uh, and what we're about to do now before i open it i'm just going to put a little smoke in each end and it doesn't hurt the bees but it makes them very calm so once again here's my smoker it's got a little baffle on it and i'll just pour a little smoke in that end if hannah will get close to that you can hear them all humming now that makes them really say hey what's going on here what's going on here with all of this 
but while at the same time they get humming and they get buzzing, they also start to cling together. And instead of coming out to attack me, they're trying to protect each other right now. So if I've cut that all the way through, I can now open this up. And well, Hannah, where did I put my beehive tool? Uh, right here, okay. This is a beehive tool, which you can use to actually pull the frames out and also to scrape off excess wax. But here's that new hive of bees and you can just see them in there and they're very busy. And I suspect the poor little gals are a little bit confused right now saying, what are you doing with this? And I'm just gonna as gently and quickly as I can start to pull them out and look at all those bees. And what I will do is start to put them into their new home. Somewhere in here is a queen, and if we had a little more time today, I'd actually find the queen and show her to you. But what I want to do today is just get them in their new home as quickly as I can. And I put them in in the same order that I took the frames. Remember, these are called frames. I'm putting the frames into the super. The supers together with their cap on them make up a beehive. And this is a very healthy looking active group of bees right here. Ooh, look at those. Aren't they just beautiful? And they're gonna get busy here going out looking for some poplar tree flowers and, and sour wood. Got one more. Ooh, that's a heavy frame. As, as a matter of fact, you can see over here, there's even a little honey under my right hand right here. That's capped honey. And I'm sure they're using that for food when they have a bad day right now. But you can hear them because they're not real happy with me right now. Now you'll see that there's also some a few bees left in here. And I'm going to be very gentle with them, but try to get them to come back down here. Come on. Come on. Come on back to your family. And now what I'm going to do is just make sure that the queen is not still inside here because you don't want to lose your queen. Okay. Look at all those bees. So now what we'll do is this is called the brood super. And on top of that, I'm gonna put a second super, which isn't quite as wide. And this is one that not only will they make honey in, but eventually what I'll do is, this is the one I'll take honey out of uh, that someday we'll actually eat. We put this final piece, which is the frame divider on top. And you can see there's a hole where they can actually come through here, but by putting this divider on, they won't get up on top of the hive and just make a big mess. They'll probably come up there, look around and say, well, there's nothing to do up here. I'm gonna go back down into the hive. And then the final thing we put on is the beehive cap. And so, they are now officially moved in to their new home. Now, take a look at this hive. And now this hive is just like this. It's a second working hive of bees right here. If you're wondering, well, how do they get in and out of there? You can see on the bottom here, there's just a little hole that they'll come in and out of. And very shortly, they'll start coming out. They'll decide today that this is home. I'm leaving this box down here right below because there's still a few bees in that. And they'll come out and find their way back in with their family. And Hall County School District students, that is how you put in a hive of bees. And remember, in terms of terms that we talked about today, this is a total beehive. The boxes that you see here are called supers. Inside the supers are frames. And now we've got the worker bees, the drone bees, and that very special queen that's inside the beehive. So maybe I'll get to come back to you in a little while, in a month or two, and show you when maybe we're able to take a little honey off and uh and actually show you some honey coming out of and being extracted from a beehive i hope you're having great school from home i hope you're taking time to uh, get to spend a little more time with your family and slow down a little bit but we'll talk to you soon and you just have a great day